Imagine believing in something so strongly that you don't just dedicate your life to it, but you sacrifice your freedom for it too. This was true for world famous South African President Nelson Mandela. Born on the 18th of July 1918, he was an anti-apartheid revolutionary and a leader who served as the South African President from 1994 to 1999. So what made this man so famous? Let's find out as we briefly look at his life and focus on English in context. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to look at English in context where I will kill two birds with one stone and teach you an interesting historical fact or story and teach you the English surrounding the topic. This lesson will be divided into two parts. Part 1 will focus on our topic for the day and today that is the life of Nelson Mandela. The second half of this lesson will focus on the English words and sentences that can be used to talk about the topic. I will highlight the words and sentences that will be presented during the second half of this lesson as we go. The aim of this lesson is to teach you English the same way it is presented to native English speakers. As a South African, I am excited to teach you about this revolutionary man and all that he has done for my country. Let's get started. South Africa went through a time of great distress. During the life of Mandela, South Africa was struggling with racial segregation and injustices. Mandela worked hard to overcome these issues and he was often arrested for seditious activities. He was so committed to overthrowing the racial segregation occurring in South Africa that he spent 27 years in prison. He was finally released in 1990 where he continued to work on leading South Africa to democracy. Imagine spending 27 years in prison because you are fighting against injustices and then you come out of jail and you continue to fight those same battles at the risk of going back to jail. You have to really be courageous to do something like that and you really need to believe in your cause and Mandela was courageous and honestly believed in what he was fighting for. He was eventually victorious, leading South Africa to democracy, and he was elected President of South Africa in a fully representative democratic election. Victory, finally. In the later years of his life, he focused on combating HIV and AIDS through the Nelson Mandela Foundation, and he remained a person of impact and influence until the day he died. He was a controversial figure for most of his life, but now he is considered an icon of democracy and social justice, and he has received many honors for his work, including the Nobel Peace Prize. Unfortunately, he died in December 2013 at 95 years old, but his legacy continues in South Africa. That brings us to the end of part one of our lesson. We briefly looked at the life of world famous South African President Nelson Mandela. Now let's look at the words and phrases highlighted during the lesson and learn new English words and phrases. Our first word is dedicate. This means to devote or give time or effort to a particular task or purpose. Example, I dedicate my time to teaching English or Mandela dedicated his time to fighting for freedom. I am saying I give my time to teaching English and Mandela devoted his time to fighting for freedom. Our next word is sacrifice. I am just focusing on the one meaning of sacrifice, which is the act of giving up something that you want to keep especially in order to do something else or to help someone else. Example, Mandela sacrificed his freedom in order to fight for freedom. We are saying that he gave up his own freedom, which is something he wanted, but he gave it up to help us. Our third word is anti. This means opposed to. If you are anti something, you are opposed to it. Example, Mandela was anti-apartheid. This means he was opposed to apartheid. He didn't like it. 
Next is the word apartheid. To be clear, this is not an English word, but I do want to explain it so that you understand the story of Mandela. Apartheid means separateness or the state of being apart. If you think about it in racial terms, it means to keep different races apart, which is exactly what happened during that time. The different races were treated differently in South Africa and were kept apart. Our fifth word is revolutionary. We are looking at the noun revolutionary, and this is a person who advocates or engages in political revolution. A political revolution is when there is disruption in the government and the form of government is either altered, which means to be changed or it's replaced. Next, we have the phrase racial segregation. It's a bit of a mouthful. Racial segregation. This is when people are restricted to certain areas of residence or separate institutions like schools, universities and so on based on their race or their skin color. In a sentence, we can say South Africa suffered with issues like racial segregation during the life of Mandela. Number seven is a good word and this word is injustices. This means a lack of justice, when things are unfair. Example, there were many injustices at my old job. This means that there were many things that were unfair at my old job. Next is a very advanced word and this word is seditious. This means to cause people to rebel against authority, usually a state. So Mandela's seditious activities speak about him rebelling against the government authorities at the time. Number nine is democracy. Democracy is a form of government in which the common people hold political power and can rule either directly or through elected representatives. The people vote and choose who they would like to represent them and their interests. The power is in the majority vote. Let's look at the phrase at the risk. This means to be in a situation where something unpleasant might happen. Example, Mandela fought against injustice at the risk of losing his freedom. The unpleasant thing that could have happened was he could have lost his freedom. Courageous. This means to have or to show courage and courage refers to being brave. It means that you can do something that usually frightens you. Example, you need to be courageous if you want to make an impact or you need to be courageous if you want to do something meaningful with your life. Next, we have the word victorious, victorious. This is another lovely word used to describe winning. If I win a cooking competition, I am victorious. I have the victory. Next is representative. Representative refers to a person chosen or appointed to act or speak for other people or for another person. Combating. This means to take action to reduce something or to prevent something bad. Example, if I am combating a sickness, I need to stay active. And our final word for today is controversial. I think this is such a great word and it is used across the world today because we deal with so many controversial issues. When something is controversial, it means that it is likely to cause disagreement and conflict. If I say President ABC is the worst president in the world because he likes to steal, then I am making a controversial statement. That brings us to the end of this lesson. In this lesson, we looked at world famous South African president and Nobel Peace Prize winner Nelson Mandela. And we examine the words, phrases and sentences that can be used to talk about him and his revolutionary actions. If you enjoyed this lesson, then please hit the like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram for daily English learning content. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel too. Thank you for your time today. And this is Ashley with Level Up English signing out. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.